Hi, I have a Spyderco Mantra in M4 at 15 degrees with a high polished edge. We are going to see how much rope that cuts before it no longer slices held paper. Uh, I've done that with a KME system and I've confirmed the degrees using a Tormek angle card. It fits snugly into the 15 and is too loose in the 17. So um, we're going to see how polished edges perform against coarse finished edges. So we're going to cut rope with the polished edge and then we're going to cut rope with the um, machine-y type edge that I'll put on after this first test and we'll see which is best for your M4 steel if you are a sharpener or sharpening for someone else and want to give them the best edge retention versus rope on chopping boards. Or what I like to think is best edge retention for general EDC use. That's what, is, that's what my dream is for this testing. At any rate, uh, what are we gonna call these ones? I recommend we call these um, fashion versus function. M4 steel, polished edge, who knows? Fragmented question, indeed. So let's get into it. We'll cut some rope first with the high polished edge. Alrighty, so 500 cuts on the nose. Started to feel a bit of loss at 480, a little bit of a raggy feeling trying to bite into that uh, paper. Still did it, so continue on. 500 was the stopping point where I felt it was no longer reliably slicing paper. That is a good result. Um, at 15 degrees, um, so you're getting some extra gain from having a thinner edge, I would say, and then some extra gain from having probably just a very sharp edge. Now, polished uh, versus toothy in this one has been done before by me, or at least I've done it with toothy. So I have some idea of how it might be going, but I'm very curious to see how it does at 15 degrees and how it does at the KME's 600 grit diamond finishing stone. So let's see how this one slices rope before it stops cutting paper.
All right, so that was horrible. <laughs> 700 cuts. Um, it was, uh, yeah, just in terms of how it felt cutting the rope as well, just, yeah, just almost felt like, I know this is a bit um, predictable, but it almost did feel like a bit of a serration effect, like just really bitey and sorry in that rope. Just using the same motion. I always just cut using the same portion of the blade, but yeah, felt nicer going through the rope really stuck into that board as well dunk every time like really sticky sharp very interesting um so yeah 700 so it's a fair improvement on m4 steel that can be the answers to that can probably be found in the steels chemistry people other people will know more about this than me but i know the carbide formers in this one are more complex making larger different carbides that sometimes perform better with less polishing around them um, you can see perhaps Big Brown Bears channel for more talk about this sort of thing, but a lot of tungsten carbides, a lot of vanadium carbides, some chromium carbides as well, a whole bunch of molybdenum. This is a, um, a bit more of a complex knife than others. Uh, so this edge may be, you know, M4 may always do a bit better with the toothy edge, at least that's what this test seems to have shown today. So 700 cuts um, versus 500 cuts, that's definitely a margin that I'd be happy to say is, is comfortable for to draw some sort of conclusion, at least when you're cutting a rope on, in my system. Uh, I'm hoping that translates to EDC use in some regard. So, all right, um, I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you to Nick Shabazz for uh, doing, um, well, doing an extremely generous thing and sending me a KME system. Uh, it was, com like, I mean, I would say in, an, uh, in a surprise, I would say in a, you know, unforeseen act of generosity, but that's not the case at all, because Nick's a very generous person. I think we all, anyone who follows him knows that from uh, the large amount of giveaways and, and good, just good things he does. So, but I, so I wasn't surprised, but I was still very, very fr you know, funny old roller coaster. When someone, when I do something nice for people, I just want them to take it, say thank you, and shut up. And I'm sure he just wants the same. But it's, uh, it's, it is complex emotional roller coaster when you get given a, a large thing like that. So yes, thank you, Nick, and thank you to Nick's um, supporters because really, it's um, if Nick wasn't able to have probably one of the most, the, the largest, I guess, current and frequent knife channels and um, that wouldn't uh, trickle down to fucking smaller Joes like me. At any rate, next up, worth subscribing. If this is your first Cedric and Ada video, we're going to do the same with at least three other knives. Well, these are the next three. I'm not sure what order they'll be in. LC200N, sporting a super polished edge. S30V, sporting a super polished edge. And... CPM3V sporting a super polished edge, mirror in fact. We'll do the exact same test with them. Polish them, well they're polished, cut rope, rough them up, cut rope, see which is best per steel. Stay tuned folks, good things happening on this channel. Subscribe, like, check all my data on the Patreon. Um, check out the FAQ as well, which I've just uploaded and just worked on for a fair while. It was before I had this KME, but that also shows uh, a lot about the rationale behind how I do these tests too. Um, if you want to be a Patreon, that's awesome. Um, it does pay for all this rope that I use. It um, <laughs> gets pretty ridiculous with the, with the high-speed tool steels, that's for sure. At any rate, uh, no pressure with that at all. You can still see the numbers for absolutely free. And if you just hit like, then that is warming my heart still. So thanks guys, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye now.